Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a complete teardown. I'll walk you through step by step. I'll explain to you each of the components so that you can get to see on how to upgrade, how to change out the RAM, how to change the battery, maybe upgrade your hard drive, things like that, or even change the motherboard. So again, in this video, I'll walk you through step by step, and I'll explain to you each of the process and I hope you're gonna like the video. All right, so let me show it to you. This is the Acer Aspire laptop. If you're not sure what model that is, go ahead and flip your laptop to the back and take a closer look here. It says Acer Aspire 3 model N18Q13. So this is A313-23 series. Excuse me. So first you need to have is to get a get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, here I'll be using the electric screwdriver. As you know that throughout the day I do use a lot of taking things apart, and um, having an electric screwdriver really helps me and speed up my my workload. So if you're interested with this electric screwdriver. Go ahead and check out the link in the description below. I'll link it to Amazon. When you click on the link, it will direct directly uh, to Amazon website. And you can go ahead and get yourself an electric screwdriver. This is not a sponsored video. I, I, I paid for this out of my own profit money. Um, the drill bits, you have multiple of these sort of bits. And yeah, I mean, it's not just for a laptop, it could be for something else as well. It looks like all the screws are the same, so it is okay for you to mix match the screw by mist. I mean, if it's by mistake, that's fine. It doesn't. Um, you, you don't have to go accordingly to the size of the uh, the screws. Now the next step I like to do is to pry open the back cover. I'm using a plastic prying tool. I like to start off the corner. Um, the corner usually is the weakest point and that way you can easily remove or separate the uh, the back cover. Do they have something else in here? It looks like they might have something else in here. Underneath the rubber. Let's take a look. It doesn't seem like they do. Why is it so difficult to remove it? All right, so there you have it. I just removed the uh, the back cover. Again, there's no hidden screw underneath the rubber, so you don't have to remove the rubber to get to the back cover. Now, here is the entire laptop. And let me quickly walk you through what are the uh, the whole thing here. So this is a CPU fan. That's the heat sink, where it draws all the heat from the CPU into the copper pipe and where the exhaust fan is blowing hot the uh, hot air away from your laptop. So it's going that direction. Here is your battery. So if you take a look at your battery, and for you, if you have the problem with um, the clicking, so if a touchpad is not clicking well, or maybe when you press the touchpad, it's hard to get the click to go on. That's the reason why 
it might have been because of the battery so when the battery is lump like swell swollen then it pushes the back of the touchpad so if you look here again when the battery is swollen it pushes the touchpad on the other side of it right so that's where the clicker is and you'll be having a hard time to click on so double check a battery if a touchpad is not working that might be the problem of the battery now this is the acer and the model of this battery is ap18 c8k let me show it to you that's the model of the battery and i'll link them in the description below as well uh, if you need to change the battery, you can go ahead and get it directly from either Amazon or eBay and Yeah, go change the battery So very easy the connector you just have to slide it down towards the body uh, There's no safety pin connector or anything. It's just a slide in to install and slide out to remove And once you remove that the entire battery will just come straight out now this is your M.2 solid state drive. Here it contains all your information, like your documents, picture, music, windows, everything is in this M.2 drive. And to remove it, just go ahead and remove that one screw. And slide the, uh, the, uh, the hard drive out by sliding towards your body, okay? Now they do, if you want to install, um, if you want to extract the data, let's just say that um, you decided to get rid of your laptop. However, you want to save your information, like your data. I recommend you to get one of this. This is what I call the USB adapter, uh, USB NVMe adapter. Go ahead and buy one of these, uh, slide it in, install and that's how you can extract the data so plug this one in to a different computer not this one to a different computer and you should be able to see your information all right okay here's your cmos battery and if you have any problem with the motherboard and you want to drain out the motherboard just disconnect the battery by sliding it down so this is the cmos battery now this is your ram this is a DDR4 RAM. This two here is the clipper. So push it away from each other. So meaning that the clipper goes away. So it's close like this, right? You push it away from you and then the, uh, the RAM would pop right about 45 degree angle and you can slide it to your right to remove this. This is a four gigabyte PC4 that stands for DDR4. You can upgrade this to maybe 8 or 16 gigs of RAM for one slot. The next step is, let's take a look at the, uh, the connector here. So this is your keyboard. To remove the keyboard, slide a two secure clipper down towards your body. So slide it down. It doesn't disconnect. It just get loose. So slide it down and slide a flex cable down towards your body. That's how you remove that. Right here is more likely your speakers. So the speaker is your left and right. Okay. And this is the speaker connector. Use the two finger nail and slide it down towards your body. Open up the clipper, slide a cable down. This is for your touchpad. And that's pretty much it. Here is the Wi-Fi card. On the top is the white cable. Remove by lifting straight up. This is the black. Remove by lifting it straight up. Remove that one screw. And slide the Wi-Fi to your left. And that's how you disconnect the, uh, the Wi-Fi. All right, this is your CPU fan connector. Slide it to your right. That's how you disconnect it. Go ahead and remove the screw. We are removing the CPU fan. There are, three, there are two screws holding onto the, the CPU fan. Once you remove the two screws, the CPU fan will just come straight out. And the model 
of the replacement might be on this one here. Try to look it up. If not, try to look up the model at the back here that says NS85B11. Now this is a good opportunity for you to clean out the CPU fan. So if you feel like a laptop is running really hot, and if your laptop is um, always on a high speed, like the fan goes on a high speed all the time, you can hear the noise coming from the fan. It's more likely the fan is really dirty or the heat sink is, um, the thermal paste is all dried out. That means that the heat is not conducting or escaping fast enough to the heat sink and disperse the heat. So you may have to uh, come here and apply a new thermal paste on this heat sink and maybe dust out the fan to get the uh, the ventilation go better right so to apply a new heat sink uh, sorry to apply a new thermal paste you actually need to remove the, uh, the heat sink remove the three screws And the heat sink will just come straight up okay and this is what i call the thermal paste looks like the thermal paste is all dried up this is a good opportunity for you to come and go ahead and clean off the uh the thermal paste i like to use the alcohol wipes the alcohol wipes clean this pretty good as well as it dry off very quickly because it's alcohol it evaporates um get yourself a thermal paste mx4 again i'll link them in the description below go check it out i got this from amazon and you can just apply a new thermal paste on the cpu and when you put the heatsink back on that way it would you know um, help the heat and disperse it very quickly all right so let's move on to the next thing we like to do is to remove the motherboard before i can do that i like to disconnect the screen so make sure you open up the clipper that is the uh, the connector for the screen Okay, so what I did was I removed the two screws on the top right corner. This is where the hinge is and you need to remove the two screws and flip the hinge at about 90 degree angle. Come back here and do the second hinge on the left. Remove the two screw as well. So at least we can show you show it to you the, um, the screen afterwards. Okay, so let me go ahead and flip this up open. Get the Wi-Fi cable on the side. Okay, now the entire uh, motherboard should just come straight out without any problem. And there you have it. And if you want to find a replacement part for your motherboard, go look it up here. Maybe model Z80 or this number right here. Or maybe this number right here. Then this is the entire motherboard and how it looks like. Okay, let's put the motherboard on the side. Now here, we're pretty much ready to show it to you what the entire keyboard looks like. Okay. Now, as you can see that the keyboard is kind of built into the palm rest. You can see all this staple gun. The plastic is being stapled onto. It's not like a screw so you can't remove the keyboard now if you spill 
um, if you spill anything on the keyboard or your keyboard is is not working like few of the keys are not working um, so bad news you would have to change out the entire keyboard and the reason why is that is that the keyboard the way they built it um, there's no opening on anything to replace the key pretty much the entire palm rest this is what we call the palm rest the touchpad and the keyboard is one piece together just like that all right so if you have a bad key or the keyboard is not working you have to change out the whole thing here now the next step here is your screen so this is pretty much the entire screen um you can buy the fully made screen just like this one big piece and then change out the replace the entire screen or you can change just the screen itself here i'll show it to you in a separate video what i'll do is i'll remove the bezel i'll remove this bezel and then just change out the screen um, in a separate video for you go, go ahead and check it out i'll link them uh, maybe here in the description somewhere on the screen all right so again if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and, and i hope that my video and the tutorial walk you through step by steps helps you to maybe upgrade your ram to maybe change out your m.2 drive um, to or maybe apply a new thermal paste on it to get the heat out right so um, if you find this video helpful please go ahead and like it comment below if you have any question i'll hear from you next time take care now bye